What's up, guys? It's Danny here from Danny Texan today. I'm doing my predicted lineup for Chelsea versus Spurs, which is happening tomorrow at half past four at White Hart Lane, the London Derby. I can't wait for this game. I think Lampard will go with the 4 3 3 formation for this game against his old boss, Jose Mourinho, with the with one CDM and then two centre mids in front of the CDM. So in goal, the number one goalkeeper, Kepa. He hasn't been in good form recently, but he will definitely start in this game. Only if Lampard is doing something to change the change the system or something and starting Caballero, but it's most definitely going to be Kepa starting in goal. Then right back, Reese James. He can, he's very fast running up and down the wing, and when um Reese James got the pitch, all the the centre backs cover the right side, so um when he could stay at the pitch more longer, and then and then. Instead of like them scoring straight after from a counter attack, but that's Mourinho's tactic, scoring counter attacks. But then Reese James is early crosses in the box, and then Abraham moves around so he can get involved more in games. So Reese James is at right back. Then the two centre back pairing is Rudiger and Zuma because um. I'm not sure if um, tomorrow is back, but Rudiger and Zuma are our strongest centre back pairing right now. They played very well against Bournemouth, even though the goal that we conceded wasn't really their fault. It wasn't even the whole team's fault. But against Lille on Tuesday, before the game versus Bournemouth, Chelsea played very well, and Zuma and Tomori probably the best game as a centre back pairing. So, yeah. Then at left back. Aspel Equator. If Aspel Equator starts at left back, is he now going to be? I think now he's Lampard's put him as number one choice at left back after Reese James has returned from injury. So now Reese James is the number one right back, and then Aspel Equator is now the number one left back after um, Emerson got injured and Alonso has not been playing. So yeah, that's the, the whole defence done. I think the CDM in front of the back four will be Angola Kante. Because um, when we play him in CDM, he's got basically a brick wall in front of the defence. And then he plays in front of the defence. Then he can pass it to Jorginho and Kovacic. And then Kovacic could just run at the pitch. And then maybe Jorginho and Kante could switch. Because Kante's got the pace and Jorginho's not as fast. But then with Jorginho's passing, they could do over-the-top through balls to Abraham, Pulisic, um, Willian. So that's why the free midfield will be... Um, no Mason Mount, I think it'll be Kante and CDM. And then the two centre mids will be Kovacic and Jorginho. The Asar midfield for the game versus Tottenham. The front three, I think, will be Christian Pulisic on the left-hand side. Then, because um, he's, been, he's not been playing as well as we thought he would now after he got a bit of form after scoring, I think it's six or five goals in the Premier League and then one goal in the Champions League versus Valencia away from home. And then, yeah, he's just been a bit tired recently. After he had a week off um, versus, well, since he played um, Bournemouth, hopefully he can be ready. I think Pulisic will start on the left-hand side for this game. Then on the right, it's got to be Willian. He's doing very well this season, so I think he will start on the right-hand side. He's been, I think he's been one of our best players, so he should start on the right then up front, it's the easiest decision, in, one of the easiest decisions in the whole team. Tammy Abraham, the top goal scorer in, for Chelsea and the second or third top goal scorer in the Premier League. So, so guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Bye.